I am author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure WSUS. Now, we installed WSUS in a previous video, so if you need to install WSUS, please refer back to one of the previous videos. So, to start, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the Windows key. Then, I'm going to click on the administrative tools. Down on the bottom, you will have the Windows Server Update Services. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Now when the update services appears, on the left hand side you'll see that I have my server. If I expand that, I can go down and I can click Options. Now some of these options are pretty important to keep an eye on. You can actually say who your update source and proxy server is, different products and classifications, update files and languages that you want to use, and there's a whole list. The book explains each one of these sections. One of the ones that you want to make sure that you actually keep an eye on, you scroll down, you'll see where it says Server Cleanup Wizard. This is very important because as updates get stored on your server, you might want to go in every once in a while and clean up some of the older updates. Make sure that once people have gotten the updates, you can get them off of your server. So the Server Cleanup Wizard is a very good way to do that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to do the WSUS Server Configuration Wizard. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then at this point, it actually, a wizard appears that we're going to walk through so that we can configure WSUS for a first time. So it's going to ask me if I want to be part of the Microsoft Update Improvement Program. Now what this is, is this actually captures statistics and grabs information from your computer and it updates with Microsoft to let them know how everything's working. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Then it's going to ask you who your upstream server is. Are you getting your updates from Microsoft, or are you getting your updates from another WSUS server? So in this particular setup, we're actually getting our updates from Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. If you're using a proxy server in your organization, then at that point, you would actually check this box, and you would actually set up your proxy server. We don't use a proxy server. This server can communicate directly to the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Next. Then it's going to ask you if you want to get available updates and start your connection with Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Start Connection. Now this is going to take a few minutes to run. And as soon as it's done, we'll go ahead and continue the video. Now once the server has connected and has the current updates, we're going to go ahead and click Next. And at this point, it's going to ask me, when do I want to synchronize? When do I want to set up synchronization with the Microsoft server? So right now, I'm just going to say synchronize manually, but you could set up a time of when it's going to synchronize and how many times per day. So I'll click Next. And then you can go ahead and click on Begin Initial Synchronization, and this way it'll automatically start. But at this point, we've actually finished our configuration of the WSUS server. In this video, I showed you how to set up WSUS configuration options.